Hello. We've got problems with our bench seat. Not problems, really. Not really problems, no. And if you look at any other bench seat design, there is also what we're about to do already on them, built in. Yeah, it's not a problem. No, it's not. It's so, an easy fix. We'll show you exactly what we're going to do and what we're going to use. Also, we're going to be bringing you a new power bank. Oh, yeah. We're going to be um, showcasing the EcoFlow Delta. You may have already spotted it mm, previously. The, Del the Delta Mini, which is this little bad boy right now. But we're going to be talking more about that in a little minute. So let's show you what we're going to be doing and how we're going to be doing it. And first of all, we'll show you the problem. So the problem that we've got is that when we've got the actual table, the front seat kicks out. The problem that we have, because we've got the table on the front, with having the table fixed where it is, if we actually put any pressure onto the table, because this isn't actually fixed into place, this bottom part kicks out. And we don't want it to kick out unless we want it out, do we? Right, my dear, I have got the perfect solution. Really? Yeah, we're going to drill holes, we're going to cut things, we're going to fix stuff. We're not going to be here for hours, are we? I want to get in before daylight today. Right, we're going to fit something to the bottom of the seat. And it's a new thing, never seen in the history of mankind ever before. Really? Yeah. And are we just... the first ones? Well, no, we, you're the first person to give it a brand new name. There you go. This is what we're going to fit. Uh Spinny, catchy, lucky things. What we're going to do is we're going to take our spinny, catchy, latchy thing, this newfangled device, and we're going to attach it here, screw it in, and then what we're going to do is we're going to cut a tiny hole in here so that when we spin the latch the latch will go into that hole and that in theory will hold that nice snug and secure in place where we're attaching it to this piece of furniture board here is actually fixed into place and solid so when it comes down to being in the bottom there it's gonna make it nice and secure for us it's gonna fix the bottom so it's not gonna move which is what we should have done in the first place, really. <laughs> so, anyway. Hindsight is a great thing. So, like Emma said, what we're going to do is we're going to basically mount the actual two, what are they called? Catchy, spinny, latchy things. Rotary latches onto the furniture board, and then we're going to mark on the actual sat. <laughs> then we're going to mark on the actual sides where the latch meets. I'm gonna cut a groove in there, make it all nice, make it all neat, make it all tidy. Then we can just go spish, spash. Oh, so you can make words up, but I can't. So I'm just gonna put this on the edge of here like that. And then Emma's gonna mark the bottom where this will go into the furniture boards. with just a little line across that way so that we know where the bottom is going to be and then we can get the measurements off it and we can mark the top. Now we've got the lines top and bottom, we're going to drill a little hole on the very top, a little hole on the very bottom, and then once we've got the holes in... Zuz zuz, cutty cut, down. Right, that's a little bit tight, so we need to get in there and give that a file, and now we're going to use our EcoFlow. To cut our little groove, well not to cut the little groove, to file it out, we're going to be using a little Dremel. It's got a matchstick attached to it. It's not a matchstick, it's a small file. It's a matchstick! It's not. 
You're just trying to start fires. Right, the problem with the Dremel is, it's got one of them plugs on the end. It does have a plug that goes on it that goes into a wall, but we get to use our EcoFlow Delta Mini to power it. Emma's going to tell you all about EcoFlow Delta Minis right now. Great thing about the EcoFlow Delta Mini is that it's light. Making it extra portable and easy for me to move around. The handles on the side mean that you've got a better way of manoeuvring it than other ones which was on the top because sometimes the weight distribution you struggle with it. This is only 23.6 pounds. I like it. Yes, I know you don't like us doing product reviews. However, we do feel that this little bad boy here is actually worth a couple of minutes of your time. We've been trying this out on different appliances over the last few months and we think it's worthwhile just looking at it for a couple of minutes even though this is the smallest one in the delta range from ecoflow it does give you 882 watt hours also inside this little beauty is a 1400 pure sine wave inverter which means it's giving you a lot of power and the inverter will also take a 2100 watt surge of power right so let's have a little look at the actual power bank itself so on one side you actually have a on and off button down here so small press for on and then a long press if you want to turn it off or when you turn it on that actually brings on this lovely LCD screen which is very very good because you can actually if you're outside as well you can actually still see it with you know, on bright days and things like that so on this side We've got the 99 hours, that will tell you how many running hours you've got left. At the moment we've not actually got anything plugged into it, so obviously we're going to have quite a long time on there. The round circle in the middle, that's your percentage of what power your actual power bank's on. Ours is on 74% at the moment, not quite fully charged, but charged enough. And on this side here, you've got the input and output. So your input is when you've got things plugged in to charge it, and then your output is what what your appliances are using beneath that you've got a usb-c and then you've got two usb ports and then you've got one fast charging port now personally for us while we've been using it these have been great but what i would like is maybe two usb-c's just because products nowadays watches phones laptops all tend to now come with the C and not the normal USB-C. On the other side of the unit you've got two 240 sockets, your cigarette output down here. On the other side of the cigarette port you have two little 3 amp ports. We used the Dremel on one of those the other day which was a nice little find so we didn't have to put the plug in. Above all of that, under this nice little lid, we have some char charging ports. So on this side, you've got where you can hook up your solar panels. And then on this side, you've got your mains. Now, next to your mains, you have this little button, which goes up and down. Now that gives you the option when you're on 240 hookup to fast charge the actual unit. When you press it up and put it onto fast charge, that actually draws in 900 watts and it can charge the unit up to 80% in an hour. Normally, on the slow charge, just as normal, it nor we found it's takes it taken us about five to five and a half hours to charge it. But to get that much power in one hour, can't go wrong, can you? Also, next to these two, next to these two, there is a button there. You can just see that's the main reset button in case you have any problems, issues, or if anything goes wrong. As with any portable power guys, put it, these units, because of what's inside them, can get hot. What we like about this one here is that it's got fans on one side, fans on the other, meaning the air can get in there, cool it down, and get circulated. It's another safety bonus feature for us really. Now I know I've already mentioned the handles on the side, which means I can pick it up easily. That does mean got this nice big flat space on the top so 
yes, when you're charging, you can put your phone, your watch, whatever, on the top. However, what might be a nice idea maybe for a future is having a charging port for your phone on top with having that nice big surface area. But as it stands, the design's really cute. Reminds me kind of like a slow cooker. We all know how I love my kitchen. So yeah, design-wise, good. Few little improvements maybe for future models. I don't know. What do you guys think? Right, another good thing that we love about the EcoFlow Delta Mini is that the fact that you can watch it and you can keep track of what's going on on your phone. It does come with an app. Dead easy setup. It's just a case of linking it to your phone and then we'll go into the app and we'll have a little look. So let's have a look at the app. Right, so once you've set it up, you'll get this screen on your phone. You just basically get into it and you'll see the actual unit there. Once it's connected to the actual unit, it will tell you what you've got. So we can see we've got 99 hours of usage left. You can see the temperature of the unit. We can see on the right hand side how much charge you got, 74%. And then it will give you your output and your input by these two panels here. It's not necessarily needed because the display on the front tells you all you need to know. So it goes from there. Like Emma said, one hour plugged into the mains on fast charge you're getting 80 percent charge out of this little unit and we have tested it and we have tried it we've tried it in max we've tried it in two max charging at once with phones and it ran for about three or four days charging the max and charging the phones and it just worked really well can i also say big thing for me my dyson air app also works on this boy yes also, we did try the Dyson hairdryer, which will run on full power on low heat as well. When you put the Dyson up onto full heat, it tripped out and it didn't want to use it. So maybe this unit isn't good for it, but the bigger one would certainly run it as well. They do lots of different models of this. They do, you know, there's all sorts of different models and they are reasonably priced as well for the amount of kitten you're getting in there and what it does and the fact that it holds a lot of power also talking about power the actual watt hours that are, are in this which is 882 882 which would be a hundred percent power out of that 882 watt, watt hours of power fully charged you can use 95 percent of it 95 percent so most units you know full power if you take into consideration a lead acid battery at 100 percent to 12 volts you can only use 50 percent of it so 100 watts 50 percent you're only getting 50 watts with this unit you get 95 percent watt hours of usable energy which is absolutely fantastic right so this is the solar panel that comes with the ecoflow very similar to other solar panels you've seen before it's got a little carrying handle and comes in a case wonderful but how did he wear hmm let's have a look at them once you've got it unzipped you've got your panels it's four panels which gives you a total of 160 watts of solar energy for you to get efficient solar energy you do really have to have it tilted on other brands and other designs on the rear you have two little legs that velcro off and you can stand it on the ground giving you the perfect angle for the sun eco flows however a little bit complicated so what you got to do with the eco flow one you've got to attach it with these clips to the solar panel let's attach it so you got to connect these two like so then you clip your top ones to the top great solar panel 160 watts the design of the tilt is awful you're only getting one type of tilt and i don't really think for what the product is this does it any justice at all the side panels will fold in a little bit so on a bright sunny day you're going to get more off the front panels which are directly facing the sun than you will the side panels because they're bowed it's just not a very good design great solar panel bad design you can connect up to three lots of panels the lead that comes with it is a good long lead so you do have the ability of having this outside 
and pulling the, the solar inside. So this end will plug into the back of the unit and then simply on this end you've just got two standard solar panel port connections. You've got this nice big long lead to then plug into the back of your unit. Let's take solar out of the equation. What are the pros and cons of this unit? This little boy, I'd say we use this every single day. And we have been using it every single day for a while, haven't we? Yeah, we've even had the slow cooker running on it. So. Yeah, Emma's had the slow cooker running on it, which we did find that running a slow cooker on it at um, the lowest setting, you can run a slow cooker for like 15 hours. The two handles on the side just mean that you can fit this into a lot more places in a van and you know when you're not using it you can store stuff on top it hasn't got a stupid handle yeah because it does make it higher if it's got the handle as well doesn't it yeah so. some power banks have a stupid handle on the top a stupid handle that gets in the way we we were sent this unit but we're not you know we don't have to give it a good review if it was a load of rubbish we would just tell you I was honest about the solar panels. I don't think the design of the actual tilt on the solar panels is up to much good. There are better designs out there, but you don't have to buy the solar panels. For 80% charge in one hour off mains hookup, why do you need solar panels? You know, if you're going to campsites and you're just doing general camping, yeah, if you want to do wild camping for a long period of time, you'll get the solar, but I'm sure you will work around the fact of the dodgy tilt mechanism your own way um, and for 160 watt panels kind of good but we love it we generally do love it we don't really use the app on the phone a lot of people won't use the app on the phone but we do use this little boy all the time and it's coming with us and it's staying with us in the van so in the in the description below there's going to be something in there for you what's going to be some links links to ecoflow yeah we're going to link you to all the, the ecoflow websites we're going to link you to where you can get them from and everything else they are a little bit cheaper than other brands other Some brands other brands um are they better than other brands do they last longer than other brands um it's like anything with a battery though mm, isn't it you've got to look after it yeah yeah the they are very very similar but the one massive advantage that they have and we keep going on about it is the 80 percent charge in one hour on the fast charge that is a game changer so for me hands down this wins over any other battery bank purely because if you are somewhere and you can plug into you know a socket somewhere and just go matter one an hour plug it in 80 percent charge done plug other brands in for an hour and you're probably getting about 15 percent links in the description down below well done what was new <laughs> right now we've got our little slice cut in there this will now fit a perfect in the gap so then when we fasten this to the front of the board we can then turn this switch and then that will go into there lock on the board in place so now that we've got all these fitted into place this catchy spinny locky ratchety whatever they are i don't know um yeah once they're closed this is nice and secure it's not moving anywhere jobs are good now to put the seat back together side of you so there we go that's another job done great little product i do like them you do mm, i do i do like it i like the design i like the the fact they function as properly i like i just like it that's all i'm saying i like it prefer it to the orange thing what's the orange thing so anyway right we've got loads of things to do we've got another camera to mount in the van uh, because i'm sick of people creeping up on me and me blind spot it seems to be a game i don't know whether people are doing it just to annoy me um but they do they seem to sit there on the motorway in me blind spot so 
I'm going to tackle that with a camera so I know the idiots are there. And then we've got, ooh, ooh, have we got some big news? Oh, no, 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 we don't know yet. It's not mean, definite. Uh, oh, well, we haven't got big news. We may have big news. Oh, so it's a no may now. Yeah, it's no spoilers alert. I'm just saying we've got big news. I mentioned nothing, did I? Throw me in friggin' lion's den. I don't know what you're talking about. And then all of a sudden, you whisper something to me. And actually, it might not actually be an actual thing yet. So, hush your bean. Thank you. <laughs> you kill me, <laughs> Oh crap. Oh crap. <laughs>